Legitimate Games, a well-known graphic designer and motion designer for the Call of Duty Zombies community, has been exposed for guess what? Grooming. The evidence I'm about to show you is absolutely vile and his defence, to be honest with you, doesn't make it up whatsoever. A Twitter user called Verial has kindly gone out of his way to produce a Google document with all of the evidence. That means I'd have to go moving around Twitter or anything like that. I'll first go through this document first and have a look at all the evidence that's relevant to the case. And then I'll go through some of the responses that Legitimate Gamers has made to keep this fair and balanced. So the first piece of evidence that has been um, brought to light is a screenshot from Legitimate Gamers' old friendship group. And apparently, according to them, he made women feel uncomfortable. So I'm just going to read the screenshot here and then we're going to discuss a little bit more what I think about the situation. So in this screenshot, his ex-friend says the following. Yeah, he's vile. Every type of phobic possible. Used to spam people with messages, calling them the N-word to die of cancer, etc. on PSM from his phone if they killed him in blackouts or WW2 shipment. Once ruined some opportunities by a bloke I used to be mates with by showing up uninvited to a meeting with potential sponsors and showing them photos he'd made of him in blackface in Photoshop. In the community we used to be in, he'd make women feel so uncomfortable they'd avoid being in cause or they straight up leave. So obviously this evidence doesn't really show legitimate gamers doing anything wrong but it is quite alarming from this screenshot that his own ex-mates have like called him out on him being you know weird towards women because I'm assuming that's the case it the only way you make a feel a woman feel uncomfortable is if someone's doing something very very weird and the fact that they were leaving meetings and calls says a lot about legitimate gamers character as a person again i've not seen the rest of the evidence yet as i'm speaking about this but you know it's not looking too great so far but let's keep going because i'm sure it's going to get a lot worse judging by the accusations that are being made and guess what? I was absolutely spot on because from everything, and I mean literally everything, these screenshots get worse. So the next screenshot I'm about to show you shows legitimate gamers trying to groom an individual. You heard me correctly. Groom an individual into taking HRT. I genuinely couldn't believe what I was reading. I'm not reading this screenshot here. I don't want to read it. It's on the screen for you to read because it makes me really, really annoyed. I I mean, I know it's two sh screenshots that are edited together and people might think, oh, it's not legitimate evidence. But regardless whether these are two screenshots put together or not, what he has put in these messages, whether regardless of context, is so messed up and absolutely disgusting behaviour. And this is only one thing I'm going to be talking about because but what I'm seeing here, there's no coming back from this whatsoever. I don't know what argument he's going to have, but this is horrible stuff. Right, up next, it gets a lot worse. Um, I'm obviously not going to show the full screenshot. It, well, I'm going to show the screenshot, but it's going to be blurred. Um, but this is insane let's just say legitimate gamers sent images of a um sexual nature to an individual and i i was completely completely disgusted i am literally shaking as i am like speaking to you guys right now i can't believe it like i mean i know people on youtube do some messed up things i really do but the fact that Someone can go out of their way and send this stuff to anybody, really. I mean, literally anybody. But if these if these accusations are true regarding minors and this is what he's been sending them, I mean, I don't even know what to say at this point. Really makes me sick. So this next screenshot is not great at all. So this is not a message by legitimate gamers. Thank God, as I feel like I'm going to be sick. Um, it's a message that was made by someone called Fexy. He's got no idea what who this is, but I'm assuming it's one of the miners or one of the people he's been sexually exploiting. And this person says the following. Um, Legitimate gamers also tried and forced me to buy estrogen from the, that site that daily every time we were in VC playing Warzone and would just say it out of context and join the game, just ran just randomly and saying, I wish you were trans and other stuff like that. It was it was all said in VCS, sadly. But it got me to question my sexuality more and like I'm not the person she wanted to extort out of me. I mean 
there is screenshots showing that he's uh, she or he. I don't know who this person, what gender this person is at this point of saying this stuff. Um, I'll put the Google document in the link below um, because more, it's more of the same. It's just this legitimate game is just saying horrendous things, trying to force people to take estrogen or fetishizing about very, very strange things to younger individuals and adults, to be fair, alike. Um, but what was I going to say? The grand scheme of this is, I mean, what, what what goes through someone's head and goes, you know what, I'm just going to force, I'm, I'm going to try and force a young individual or someone that doesn't want to take um, estrogen because that's a perfectly normal thing to do. I don't care if you're trans, by the way. I really don't care if legitimate gamers are trans. But to force on other people and especially younger individuals, from my understanding, it's just not acceptable. Absolutely not acceptable. But enough ranting about legitimate games. Let's give legitimate games a fair chance. Let's see how he responds to um, some of the things he's been accused of. Let's see how amazing he really is or she really is. I don't even know anymore. So this is legitimate gamers' response to one of the screenshots or one of the pieces of evidence. And I will show you the piece of evidence just after I show you what he said first. So first of all, he says, these pictures are taken out of context. You're acting like I'm talking about children here. I'm talking about the effect of estrogen, you dipshit. Now, people might think, oh, OK, um, it's been taken out of context. But let's read the piece of evidence that he's defending himself against and how terrible this defense actually is. Just read the bottom of this screenshot. Please read the bottom. Please tell me I have not misread what he just said or she just said. I mean, are you serious? He's trying to say that. He wasn't talking about children, but then says about little girls and their you-know-what. Is this guy mental? Is this person insane? His defence is literally the most... It's the most stupid thing I've ever read in my entire life. This meant that this legitimate gamers person is not only disgusting, he's deluded. Well, they're deluded. I don't know what to call this person anymore. This person's mental. Oh my god, I just don't know what to say. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I do not want to be talking about this anymore. I mean, Legitimate Gamers, there's, he's got many more responses, and each one of them are very similar. The way he defends them is completely insane. I'll put the link to his Twitter, you can have a look at all his responses and how terrible they genuinely are. But that response alone for me is enough for me just to say I'm done with this video. I mean... There's no, def the defense is that poor. There's literally, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And um, he says it's taken out of context and whatnot. And then literally talks about that at the bottom. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I'm not saying it on, I'm not saying it on the voiceover for obvious reasons. I don't want to be talking about it, but legitimate gamers i mean if pe some people if people say it to me in the comments like they have on lex's videos that i'm wrong about this and um that these that he's so-called innocent you've lost your mind the evidence is literally there in black and white and people might say it's manipulated and whatnot but the fact that he's not even denying it in this screenshot he's not actually denying that it happened proves otherwise in my opinion you can sell whatever you want he's not denying any of this stuff in my personal view and he needs to be wiped from the internet i'm gonna straight up say it there's no what's it about this you can't be fair this at this point i said at the start i'd be fair and i have been fair and the way this person responds is completely and utterly sickening and insane doesn't even deny the fact that it happened doesn't deny the fact that he said this stuff and yeah the the mental completely mental legitimate gamers no just no please get out of the zombies community stay away from youtube stay away from any social media just no just no i mean no i can't do it anymore Thank you so very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.